So I've got that one from yesterday. So the day before with the uh, compression issue, E46, really old thing. This one here. I'm going to try something. One of these cool dudes on my YouTube channel suggested take the fuel pump fuse out. I've done it years ago, but forgot. I never really, I don't really do this much. Put some oil in because it's got low compression and then heat the spark plugs. You know, like heat them like hell and drop them in fast and try and crank it. But first, we'll try and crank it and spin it over with the. I've ducked up the fuel pump fuse out. So let's now clean all the fuel out and shit like that. It might work. It's with nothing to lose other than that. I'm going to do a cylinder leak. It's just. Young lads are uh, trying to get the spark plug out there, as you can see. But let's try it. First of all, when he's done that, we'll spin it over. See what the situation is. No. So let's look at these pistons now. They're like bloody a brand new engine. It's bore wash, like that guy says. I knew that anyway. It's full of oil as well. So I'm hoping that was the right fuse. If not, I'll have to double check, but it should be. I mean, look at state of that. You can see, I mean, well, they're pretty clean. You can't really see so much because of the camera light, but... It's very clean, isn't it? You can see, look, look at that valve, for example. I mean, it's like shiny, like a new valve, in it? So it's definitely, uh, this is one of the ones with no compression. So the idea being now that essentially, Jesus, there's, blood, there's oil and petrol mix. The idea being now that we've got all this fuel out. Hopefully I'm on the right fuse. I'll turn it over a few more times. I've put compressed air down. I didn't video that, actually. Look how clean that is. It's mint, isn't it? Let's look at the valves. Can't really see, it's really filthy these cylinders, but yeah, can't really see the bloody valves. And uh, this one's not as clean, but still. But the issue is you can see the vapor, it's got bloody leaking injectors this, but I'm hoping I can they're not leaking as much as we think, you know. Turn it over. compression so they're all a bit iffy right. hopefully this will sort the problem out <laughs> I don't know do we? whether it's salted or not salted I don't know what else, do we? nobody knows whether it'll do it it's worth a crack though hasn't it yeah Plenty of oil in them cylinders now. Coils on, whatever. Better compression. Better compression now, isn't it? Disco, anyone? It worked, didn't it? Oh, 
basically never ever think you know more than older mechanics he's been doing it since 1977 and that's the result and that's why i'm good at this job because i listen to people who know way more than i know what a legend it's like a disco but uh, you know it's done the job hasn't it really like a trooper that isn't it wow Got a mess fight though, we have to get the hell out of the hall. They call it hauling finish, what's he doing now? We need to get the hell out of here, and get it out, because as you can see, see it's smoked there, it's smoking its bollocks off. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm smoking the crap out of the place. Yeah, <coughs> the injectors are leaking because we saw that vapor, do you remember? So let's, uh, oi, oh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> like a smoke machine, Jesus Christ. Oh, look, look, look. It's working absolutely amazing, there's no misfire anymore. There's nothing wrong with that now, it's absolutely perfect. The smoke should go once the oil burns off. Just basically, you might think I'm being brutal revving it like that, but I assure you I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm trying to free off the damn piston rings, which are now freed off because of the way we did it. I mean, we were all for stripping this bloody engine or replacing it, and now, with that uh, bit of advice, it's bang on, isn't it? Again, you might think I'm being too brutal doing that, but the engine is very hot now. Um, it's not a cold engine, and I've no choice, really, because, you know, we don't know what's caused it in the first place. I think the injectors are leaking. I would recommend you have them took out. It's done, like, 300,000 kilometres, isn't it? It's 20-odd year old. Let's get them out. Let's get them rebuilt anyway. You've nothing to lose. They're probably old anyway. I still think that was the real reason. Maybe it's intermittent because there's no misfire anymore. It's just smoking, that's all. I call that a job well done. The reason I'm so good at my job and why I can fix things is because I listen to people. So when I posted a video, this video here, the other day, and I got a comment of a guy who'd been in the trade since 1977, which is the year of my birth. I listened to him and I did exactly what he said. And the result of that is this, now fixed. Got slightly leaking injectors, it built up and built up, ball washed it, now it's perfect. And because he's an old school guy, I guess he's in his 70s, but he'll be able to respond to this video and tell me, I did what I used to always do, what people like that, who would have been the age that they would have taught me at in the 1990s they always told me to clean the engine bay as if you expected it to be cleaned as if it was your own engine bay so I've polished the engine bay and I don't normally do that because I don't normally have time but I thought it would be a fitting end to this video fixing this car which well we, we thought the no compression we thought it was going to need an engine so old school ways work still in 2025 check that out beautiful It's running good, that Thomas, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic.